Hi, my name is Brittany Pilatus, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make unique clipping masks using Illustrator and Photoshop. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go and make our template in Illustrator. So I've opened up a document and I, choosing the rounded rectangle tool, I've made a 1.2 inch by 1.2 inch square here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to copy it. So I'm going to go to right click, move, transform and move. Or you can press shift control M and this box will come up. And we want to move this horizontally 1.3 inches and vertically 0 inches. Don't press OK but copy. And then we want to do that again. So the transform again shortcut is control D. So I'm just going to do that until I have 6 squares. Um, so here we have our six squares, so we made our row. So I just want to go ahead and make some more rows. So again, I'm going to go right click, transform, move. But this time we want to move things um, vertically. So we're going to put zero for horizontal, 1.3 vertical, and copy. So there we have it. And now we just want to make some more rows. So I'm going to go ahead and press control D until I have seven rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to go ahead and I, for my design, I just want to go in and I'm going to start deleting some squares. And so I deleted a few squares. You can do it however you want to really. Um, and then for my design, I have decided I want to come in and make a bigger square, replace some of these small ones. Um, then I'm going to cut it out, and then I'm going to go back in and delete all of these little ones in here. So just shift and delete all of them. And then I'll go back to edit, paste in front, and there we have it. So now I just want to go in and start changing up some colors. Um, so I'm going to grab a few squares, and I have this blue color that I want um, that I already know how to get to it so I'm just gonna go and type it in over here you just want something that will go well with your photographs um, and so to get that blue color and I want to go in and pick another color <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in and go to peak and there we go and so now I'm going to take we're almost done but I want to take this and put it at a 45 degree angle so using my transform palette I'm going to put that at a 45 degree angle and now I'm going to group these objects together so I'm going to grab all of these colored squares and I'm going to put them in one group together and I'm going to go to object and group or control G and then you're going to want to go in and select all of your gray squares and do the same thing. So, and this time I'm just going to press Control G. So, now that we have our two groups, now our template is all ready and done, and now we can go to Photoshop. So, normally I would just take these these squares and drag them into Photoshop. So, I opened up an eight and a half by eleven document, and I dragged these in here. And now we just want to drag in our photo. So I have my photo right here. You might have to readjust your size going to image, but I've already adjusted my photo size. So it's all ready. So make sure this gray, these gray squares are on the top layer so that you can right click your picture and go to create clipping mask. And as you can see, it clipped it right into these gray squares. Now you can just adjust your photo however you want it. And there you have it. So as you can see, this is our final result. We're all done now. So now you can go in and you can add other elements or text or whatever you want. Thanks for listening today and this is how you make your own unique clip.